Dispersion by a prism. If a prism is placed in a room and a narrow beam of white light is allowed to fall on one of its refracting faces, it is found that light coming out from the other face of the prism is split into seven colors that is, violet, indigo, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red. This phenomenon is called dispersion at light. The phenomenon of splitting of white light into its seven constituent colors is called dispersion of light. Cause of dispersion The color of light depends upon its wavelength. Thus, red light, 8000 angstroms, has different wavelength as compared to violet light, 4000 angstroms. According to Cauchy's formula, the refractive index mu of a material depends upon wavelength, lambda, and is given by mu equals to A plus B by lambda square plus c by lambda power 4 where a b c are constants for a material we know that for small angled prism deviation produced is delta equals to a into mu minus 1 since wavelength of violet light is smaller than of red light mu v greater than mu r. Therefore, on entering the prism, the violet light is refracted through a larger angle than the red light. mu into delta v greater than delta r. Thus, when white light enters the first phase of the prism, each color is refracted through different angle, that is, angle at refraction is maximum for red and least for violet, mu equals to sine i by sine r. As a result, dispersion or splitting of white light takes place on the second surface at the prism. Only refraction taking place, denia to rara, and color are further separated. Each color is deviated towards the box at the prism. The violet is deviated the most and the red the least. Angular dispersion. The angular separation between the two extreme color, that is violet and red color. When beam at white light passes through a prism is called angular dispersion. Consider the dispersion of white light by a small angled prism A, B, C as shown in diagram. Then, angular dispersion equals to delta V minus delta R. A stands for angle of the prism. Mu R stands for refractive index of the prism material for red color. Mu V stands for retractile index of the prism material for violet color. Deviation for violet color. Delta V equals to A mu V minus 1. Deviation for red color. Delta R equals to A into mu R minus 1. Angular dispersion. Delta V minus delta R equals to A into mu V minus 1 minus A into mu R minus 1 equals to a mu v minus a minus minus a mu r plus a equals to a into mu v minus mu r. It is clear angular dispersion depends upon the angle of the prism and the nature of the prism material. Dispersion power. The dispersive power. Omega of a prism is the ratio of angular dispersion to the deviation of the mean ray. U yellow color, that is, dispersive power omega, equals to delta V 
minus delta r by delta, where delta v minus delta r stands for angular dispersion. Delta stands for angular dispersion for yellow color, means mean deviation. If a is the angle of the prism and mu, mu r and mu r are the refractive indices at the prism material for yellow, violet and red colors respectively. Then delta v minus delta r equals to a into mu v minus mu r and delta equals to a into mu minus 1. Dispersive power omega equals to A into mu V minus mu R by A into mu minus 1. Omega equals to mu V minus mu R by mu minus 1. Dispersive power omega at prism depends only on the nature of the material of the prism. However, angular dispersion and mean deviation both depend on nature of prism material and the angle at prism. Thank you.